Aloha! Today we're going to be creating a video. Aloha! This video is about double teaming in Excel, which was written in the Journal of Accountancy in November of 2005. And it was written by Judith K. Welch, Lois S. Mahoney, and Dan Brickner. And my name is Paige Bischoff. And my name is Tiala Wesley. The functions that we're going to be learning about today that are in Excel, we're going to be relearning about the VLOOKUP function, which um, looks up information in a table, and the MATCH function, which will match the information you're looking for to the table. We're also going to be learning about the ISNA or ISNA function, which um, returns a value and it either says true or false according to the function that you use. And then also we're going to be learning the IF function, which is a logical test that will either, if, um, if it's true, then it'll return a value, but if it's false, then I'll give you that value. So when a lot of accountants have a spreadsheet, this is a spreadsheet on the Macro's depreciation rate, and this is the property classes with the age of depreciation, and this is the asset depreciation, depreciation schedule. And a lot of accountants, they only have a single property class, so they'll just have like five years, they won't have five and seven years. And when you just have one property class, like we'll hide this, if you just have one property class, then you just will use the VLOOKUP function and it's really easy to um, match the rate to the depreciation um, range. So we're going to teach you today, we're going to unhide this and bring this back. So we're going to teach you today how to find the rate using two property class rates. And um, we're going to we're going to break this down. First, we're going to show we're going to use the VLOOKUP function, which we've learned about in the past. And we're going to do VLOOKUP. That we're going to click on the age. And then we're going to do we're going to highlight this whole table. So the, the beginning age down you're going to um, click on the beginning age and drag it down to the bottom of um, seven, the seven property class, down to year eight depreciation. And it's really important that you money sign these, and you can do that by, if you click in front of it and press F4, it'll money sign them, which makes them, them a constant. And then if we carry on, Oh, we're going to hit 2 because we want the second column. And then false. And then we're going to close that. Or no. We're going to comma that and put false because we want, if I could spell, sorry, because we want an exact match. And close quote. And that will give us the rate. That's just using the basic VLOOKUP function. But we're going to add the matching function. Okay, so as you can see, uh, it returned um, property class 5, but it will only return this second column because of this number 2 here. So we want to be able to have it match the right number with the right column. So instead of using 2, we want, we want 7, the rate of 7 when it's, when it's 7, and 5 when it's 5. And so to do this, we want a match, and we will do this by putting a match function in there. And so match, and it first asks for the lookup value, and the lookup value is going to be G5, because it's 5 and 7 years, comma. And then we're going to put in the titles, because we want these three titles to be matched up. So we'll do, oh, these three, sorry, H age 5 and 7, so they are able to look up to see if there's 5 or 7, so as you can see. Okay, and then we want those to be exact, so the money signs, like Paige showed us before. And then we'll put another, we got our comma in there, and then we'll put 0 because we want an exact match. We don't, so if it finds 5, then it'll return the percentage for 5 and 7 for 7. So that will be our match function. So when we finish this formula, it'll return this function. And we can copy that down 
but we'll still have problems, so we still need to um, do more to make this better for this. Okay, so now Paige is going to tell you, show you what would happen if you had um, a property class that was five years, but had nine or ten or eleven in age and didn't return a rate. And so she'll tell you how, what would happen with that. All right, so if you had an, an age of nine and a property class of five, and it obviously isn't there because we're only doing age eight is our maximum. So we're going to um, learn the is that function. And what this is, it just is ISNA um, parenthesis, and then we're going to do a closing parenthesis. And what this was going to do is it's just going to tell us if it's true or false. So for instance, if our age down here said 9 and a property class of 5, this would come up as true. True means it's not there. You can't find it. False means there's an exact match. So we're going to see that this turns to false, and we're going to drag this down. So false, all of these have an exact match in the table to our left. So that's what the isna function does. It's just equal ISNA and then our VLOOKUP function and our MATCH function with false at the end. And that'll show us if we have an exact match or no match at all. And um, let's say we did have an age of 5. I'd have to redo all the numbers, but I just want to tell you. If we did have an age of 9 and a property class of 5, true or false would come up. NA would come up. So it's important that if you're doing this and an NA comes up, it just means that it's beyond the table you're doing. So don't um, don't worry, it's just that it's out of the range that you're doing. Okay, so now that we have that they're all false, we want to make our formula complete. And if we did have an NA or true, we could um, put the if-then statement, and that would help us to return the right values into the rate. And so to do this, we're going to add more to this function. So we'll put the equals if, and then our whole formula. And then if it's true, we'll put a zero. And then we will copy the same formula from the VLOOKUP. And copy that. I just push Control-C. And Control-V. And then do another parenthesis. And as you can see, we have our rate return, which is 5.75. And so um, it sees that it's false and it's an exact match. And then it's able to match not only the 5, um, five but also the 7. And so this makes it really easy for accountants to find the correct depreciation, um, even if it's 5 or 7. So it's bringing two things together, and we're double-teaming in Excel. So thanks for watching. Thank you.